Hey guys, what's up? It's Susan Shilla Notebook here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be on how to build a strong bond with your chinchilla and oh my word, I just turned off the AC and it's so loud right now. So I get questions all the time on people who are wondering how to build a better bond with their chinchilla, how to repair a broken bond or something, or how to just help like get through their behavioral problems with their chinchillas because they feel they're just not bonded at all. I'm actually going to give Merlin his dust bath really quick. You want to hop in? He always wants to take a dust bath. Come on. Okay. Um, so today I'm just going to talk about some things that you can do to build a stronger bond. In no means am I saying that this is just going to help you have, you know, the best bond with your chinchilla and I don't know if all these things are really going to work, but I've just found these things to work for me here with Merlin. A lot of it depends on your chinchilla's personality, their background, how they were treated when you first got them, all that kind of stuff. But I'm just hoping at least I can help some people today out with building a better bond with your chinchilla because I believe that you can still make a bond even throughout everything that's happened with your chinchilla. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right into the video. So the first thing is to spend lots of time with your chinchilla, and I know this is pretty obvious, but what better way than to know your chinchilla and for them to know you than to spend a lot of time with them? So what I mean by this is you could either just, you know, come up to their cage and just talk to them and pet, okay, he doesn't want to talk to me. Talk to them and pet them and whatever. But um, you can also let them out for playtime. That is a big way that you can spend more time with your chinchilla. And also just sitting next to their cage and talking to them. I know that sounds kind of weird. Why is this up here? I don't, I think I like sweeped his cage and forgot to put it down. Just sitting there hearing your voice and just listening to you and you just being near them in presence. Maybe not touching them, maybe with the cage door still closed, but you just being near them is really going to get them used to you and to know you as well. So whether it's just sitting with them, talking to them, or actually interacting with them and letting them out for playtime or giving them scratches just like this. Merlin loves his scratches. Yes, you do. Yes. Um, it's very, very important, obviously, to build a bond with your chinchilla. If you're not spending enough time with them, it's just not going to be as great as it could be. And I know a lot of us are busy, but if you have a chinchilla, you should have the time to be doing this and spending lots of time with them. Especially since Merlin is a lone chinchilla. If I had to, that'd be easier, but since he's all alone, I need to give him even more time. Look how cute he is. The next tip is to never grab or force your chinchilla to do anything that they don't want to do. So this is a huge thing. A lot of people try to hold their chinchillas when they don't want to be held or they do it the wrong way or their chinchillas just don't want to be held at all and they just try to force them to I don't know, go a certain place in playtime to leave their cage when they don't want to hold them. All that kind of stuff is really going to rapture the bond with your chinchilla. It's not going to get better, it's going to get worse because you lost their trust and now they're going to affiliate with you with forcing them to do things that they don't want to do. And they are, you know, rodents. They're not like dogs who are mostly willing, obe willing to obey whatever their owner wants. Chinchillas are rodents. They have a mind of their own most of the time. And if they don't want to be held, expect those boundaries. Otherwise, you're just not going to have a good bond with your chinchilla. And that's just the way it is. You definitely don't want to be the thing that your chinchillas fear. The next tip is to give them their personal space. This kind of goes along with the, the other tip. But giving them their personal space is really important. For example, if they want to run into their huts or hide or just be alone, just want to like hide behind their wheel or just not be seen, they should have that option. You shouldn't be, you know, reaching your hand in there, grabbing them, always trying to give, you know, holding them and all that kind of stuff. Just don't do that. Give them their personal space. If they just don't want to see you, then just don't make them see you because again, you're going to lose your trust with your chinchilla and they need to know that they they're just they're individuals they don't have to always be held when they don't want to be held oh okay he wants to come out bad idea this next tip i know is not always possible for everybody but it is to be the main caretaker and this is actually a huge factor in it i'm the main caretaker of merlin nobody else in my family really sees him every day or cares for him like i do um, so it actually it's really easy for me to be the main caretaker But I know some of us have siblings or we own the chinchilla with somebody I don't know but basically being the main main caretaker is very very important because your chinchilla will bond with one person the most and you'll see that sometimes with people who several people who own a chinchilla like in a family the chinchilla will probably um, like the person 
favor the person who spends the most time with them. So always, if you can, be the main caretaker, spend the most time with them, and just get the most used to you. I know this isn't always possible, but if you can, really strive for that. It's important and that's going to give you a very strong bond with your chinchilla if you know it's okay to have other people involved in their life just as long as you're the main one and they know that and they like you more that's the good thing because that's going to make your bond with them stronger your chinchillas are going to recognize you when they walk in and that's going to be better for the bond the next tip is to make sure that your chinchilla is happy and they're not depressed or unhappy with their living circumstances and what I mean by that is make sure they have a huge cage to live in, they have a wheel, they have plenty of chew toys, they have hay, they have pellets, water, all that kind of hideouts, all the kind of stuff that they need because if they don't feel safe or they, they are not happy with what they have, they're probably not going to be very friendly for it towards you and they're just going to be very depressed chinchillas. Mine's never really been depressed but my first chinchilla was really depressed because he lived in a very bad situation and I never really properly bonded with my first chinchilla. So I really just encourage you guys to take good care of them. That's very important because your chinchilla needs to be happy in order to build the bomb bond with you. You know the way it is? Yes, you do, Merlin. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found something useful in it. I know that some of these tips many may have tried before and it's still not working and they just feel like they're never going to bond with your chinchilla. But... Just keep trying. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, single chinchillas, like, they tend to bond more with their owner than if you had two chinchillas. It's not always true, but it sometimes is the case because they have nobody else and you're the only parent kind of company in their life. So single chinchillas tend to bond with your owners a little bit better, but that doesn't mean that double, you know, pair chinchillas can't bond either. So don't, don't think that just because you have two, you can't bond with either of them. But anyway, that's it. I will see you in my next video. And Merlin, he says bye.